All right. So, Ninja's coming back. I was at work. I couldn't do this earlier. But here I am with the video. Ninja's coming back. Use the promo code Ninja Returns. You get the champion. He's an awesome champion. I won't dive too much into how great he is. The things you can do in the dungeons or soloing or like uh, the clan boss. He's a great champion all around. It's going to be a great addition to a lot of people who don't have him. To a lot of the newer players especially because he's just a huge champion, right? He's uh, probably one of the top free champions that you could ever receive on your account. Now from August, or sorry, from July 18th to August, this promotion is going to um, run. So, you know, if you want to come back to raid and then just log in and collect Ninja, then that's probably what I would do. I'm going to hop onto my wife's account here and put in that code. She hasn't logged in in a while. She stopped playing. But yeah, let's um, dive a little bit more into this. Initially, my thought was this, right? They just set a precedent for something that's never been done before. The thing here is now granted, you didn't have to do a lot to get Ninja back then. You just sort of had to log in. But they told us that this was the only time that you're ever going to get Ninja. They said, you're never gonna get another chance. The, the problem with this is, even though it's going to be well received, especially from a lot of the newer players, I think, because obviously they're, get, they're gonna get a, a, an S tier legendary champion on their account. What happens with the other quote unquote limited time champions? Champions like the Monster Hunter, champions where they said hey this is it this is the only time you're gonna do it but then later on they can go back on their word and i don't know what the reason is maybe they had a deal with ninja there was a contract and maybe they finally that that contract finally released that or like finished up I, i'm not exactly sure what happened why they're going back on their word here not that it's a big issue but i'm just wondering because this is just something that can happen later on and then the issue with that becomes, okay, well, we spent a lot of money to try and get Nergigante Archer or some of the other champions for a champion that you said was limited time and you instilled FOMO on the community. And I don't know, a year or two from now, they make the Monster Hunter champions part of the summoning pool. Well, then what happened to that whole, oh, it's a limited time uh, event. You know what I mean? So that's my only thing about it. I want to see what other people are saying. I remember someone in my, in my Discord where it was sharing some screenshots of people talking in-game about how it devalues the value of their account. And I'm trying to like extrapolate that data or like extrapolate what they're, what they're saying. And I'm trying to understand where they're coming from. What do you mean it devalues your account? Uh, I mean, are you, you're not supposed to, I don't know. You guys let me know what, what you think about that. I'm still trying to understand what people mean by it devalues their account. Like, I guess if you were trying to sell your account later, then you could use, oh, I have Ninja, a limited time champion as one of those, you know, markers for, you know, marking up the price of whatever you're trying to sell. But you shouldn't do that. I'm not condoning it. Yeah. Uh, what? A free Ninja for me? Am I dreaming? This is how it looks. We're going to look at that. Uh, huge for new players, a beautiful gift from you guys. FES, here I come, Ninja. This champion was a game changer for most content in the game. This is true. Imagine, now imagine they said Archer, exactly what I'm saying. You had mentioned the Archer Queen in my moment of glee for getting Ninja. Now this, uh, have this angry, bitter upvote. I'm tapping, I really want to say Artak, but that's even better. Existing players can grab the quote unquote complimentary Ninja pack in game shop. Complimentary means free, right? So we grab the pack from the shop, log in for five days, he's ours. I'm logging in on all 10 of my accounts. <laughs> Only accounts with no ninja can get a free ninja. They left that part out. Original poster left that out. Account sellers are taking a big hit with this one. That's true. That's awesome. No effing way. Giga Plarium WWW. The best gift Plarium's given since I've started playing based. Oh my God, there's hope. So let's see people complain about this. Here comes the, but I already have a plus four ninja. This is an offense to long-term player posts. Nostradamus, someone's already created a thread uh, biatching about it. Awesome, just saw it pop up now. Plarium of, so let's, let's, let's hear. Let's, let's, let's do this. Uh, Death Knight is here. Hey, summoner, long time no see. Jump back into raid by completing the daily blah, blah, blah. All right, so we're going to go to the pro promo code section 
and was it Ninja Returns? What? I thought it, oh, is it only strictly for new players? Wait, let me, oh, now you wanna shove the forge pass down my throat. Oh my God, come on, let me out, let me out. Pop-ups for days, dear God. Come on. Oh my fuck. God damn it. Let me play the game. All these gifts my wife hasn't logged in. Let's open this, by the way. Oh, this, this looks promising. What's this one? Uh, not really. Uh, it's okay. All right, now let's... Oh, these red dots, damn it. Okay, hold on. Did I... Did I miss it? Hold on. Where is the daily gym pack? Ninja pack. Oh, okay, so here it is. This is what it looks like. You don't have to use the code, I guess, is, is what, um, what I'm seeing here. So let me just take a screenshot of this. So for a month, you're going to be able to go ahead and grab him. Let's go ahead and take that. And yeah, if you log in one, two, three, four, fifth day, you get a ninja. So that's that's an awesome thing there. I want to see what more people are, are saying about it. Let's go ahead and dive over to YouTube. Check my subs. Where is... I saw Tairaku come out with a video. Here, ninja is back. All right, guys. I want to check the comments here. When my dad started playing this game a year ago, he wanted Ninja so badly he can get him. This is pretty awesome. I prefer Archer, but since I'm a long-term player, I'll get nothing anyway. This is a W. Never thought this is the uh, this will happen. It's best. It's free. Not buying 10 shards. It's very cool. They won't do Artak, UDK, or Wukong in the same format as Ninja now because those champions um, that players are able to pull from shards and they give progressive events for them. The ones that could never go this route are Alexander, Ronda, Rathalos. It would be contract. They were contract based or some on some person IP. Then for Archer, people laid down the mighty dollar, so it wouldn't be fair to give it out for free. Maybe. Rathalos was my free first login. I selfishly want to see, uh, let's see, good books, blah, blah, blah. Ronda was my favorite. Freebie Ninja, W from Playroom. So community sentiment seems to be that obviously it's a great thing. So yeah, imagine complaining about a video because you don't earn a cer certain champ. Also, stop showing comps with Kaimar for fuck's sake, <laughs> Sam. All right, so I want to see what other people are saying. Older perspective, you don't get ninja, but you can pay to level them up. What's this? Instant, a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars to max them out instantly. Oh, how do you get out of here? That's crazy. Oh, 99 comments on this one. What are people saying about this one? Just so I'm clear on this, if we have them, we get nothing. Spare me your down votes, please. I'm just asking, not complaining. Yes, if you have Ninja from three years ago, you get nothing. Just basically another Thursday. They should give players who already have them a free Noble. That's true. So you can plus one your Ninja. I honestly don't even use Ninja. I mean, I use them in my Phantom Shogun, but that's about it. I don't use them anywhere else. New promo. We finally play Edit. A free Ninja. Is that... Can we still, we finally play edit? Let me see here. There's a, what am I? We finally play edit. Oh, okay, cool. Energy. Yeah, there you go. Free, the, what? <laughs> the new dog champion is Ninja. That's funny. What's this say? Uh, they started posting that he'll be available from this pack and as a promo code for new players pump because I started playing We're giving you another chance to get ninja Seems so just got this uh, immediately had to if you're wildly checking the shop didn't see it like me It's actually pretty cool of raid. Obviously, it's gonna be positively received. Let me see if I can find anything else Anybody else saying anything? Thank you for Nate. Thank you playing for ninja uh, Let's see who to upgrade See, bu, bu, bu. don't have Discord. How do I start again? Tourney tabs. Ninja's back. Oh, here's a good one. What's your opinion on this? I think it's going to be, I, I'd say it's mostly positive.
And yeah, people are saying it's mostly positive. I don't know who's saying it's negative. I don't know why people are saying it's negative. It doesn't make sense. Limited edition champs in a, coll a co champion collection game are inherently stupid. I'm glad they brought him back, but they should just add him to the token trader or some other way to acquire him. Yeah, true. And I guess you could complain. That's probably probably my only like ish about it. I'm on the same train. I'm uh, train. I'm fine if they're B tier or less champs that are fine for progression. But Ninja was always useful in end game too. At this point, I can beat all content without Ninja, but finishing Shadowkin faction to, um, two years ago was a pain in the ass. Ironically, I had to book Noble. Damn. Uh, he empowered Ninja, my only Lego from that faction back then to beat in. Alexander is more what I expected from a free limited time Lego. Yeah. Bronze TTA after you, Carl. Token Trader is awful. Everybody will be, able to, will be able to get a copy of Ninja, so everybody could stop the how do I get Ninja post here. <laughs> yeah. uh, player with Ninja, don't, uh, don't get the champions, but you get to you get a paid offer. Inelegant, that's true. I always wanted him, but now I have two nuts. What will Ninja do for me? Same boat here. Any reasonable any reasonable cooldown reduction Lego skill? Yeah, I guess if you have nut. Like, I guess I could ask you that. If 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 you have nut, would you would you choose ninja over nut or nut over ninja? I, I wonder. I feel like I lean more towards like if I had to choose between the two, I I might go I might go nut. I'm not sure. Absolutely incredible champion. Mine would be positive if they have something for that already instead of saying, oh yeah, there's an event for you guys too, I guess. I have him. Happy everybody gets him. Why people who already have him make, would be so negative makes no sense. It's a champ that newer players couldn't get, so now they can. It's not like they're taking your ninja from your account and giving it to other players. You don't get impacted in any way. That's true. It doesn't impact us. So I don't understand how anybody could be like so negative over it. You hit it on the head. We don't get impacted any in any way. They could give us a second ninja or something else in lieu of him, but no, just a big fat goose egg. I have no problem with other people getting him, but the fact that Polarium is screwing over people who already have him by giving them nothing deserves to be called out. That may change. We may get we might get something, but Polarium's gonna play. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not entirely in agreement with that, right? Like I'm not the type to to complain about somebody else getting something and then me not getting something. Also, I feel like that's a weird entitlement, possibly. Like, oh, just because someone else is getting something doesn't mean that I should get something too. You know what I mean? It doesn't, that doesn't make, that never made sense to me. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about it. I'm not about that. Uh, positive, don't have, but only if this uh, does not replace another daily login champ, which is probably what's going to happen. If he replaces the new daily login champ, I'd rather have that one instead of Ninja. Ninja got power crap, did he? I'm not even 100, level 100 free to play. Don't see me using him anywhere. Maybe Centranos. I guess we can talk about if he's gotten power crap. What do you guys think? That's that's something I'd, I'd be interested to see. Um, do you guys think that Ninja... Where's the thing here? Ninja, where is he? Strange, I thought he was like in the shop. Do you think Ninja got power crap? Where's uh, Shadowkin? I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck, sorry. A1 has a decreased defense. Triple burn, or a burn with a triple activation three times at random. I don't really like the random thing, but if you're if you're talking dungeons with a single boss, it's okay. Freeze and a cooldown for the A2. Ninja's attack increases by 10%, uh, 10 and um, that goes up to 100%, then 5%, up to 25% each time a single enemy is hit by all three of Ninja's active skills in a round. This can stack. It'll increase by 20 up to 100 and by 10 up to 25 instead when going up against bosses. I I mean, I don't look 73,000 people. I don't know that he's power crap. I guess I never really give, gave it any thought because he he was sitting so high on like the best champions list for so long that I never really gave it any any second thought. But I, I guess maybe he's gotten some power prep shit going on with him. But let me know what you guys think. Oh, and I just realized that my wife received the revival path here. It's basically the, the built-in uh, battle pass where you can do the quests and eventually 
You unlock all these things, and I think this is a... Uh, what are these keys for? You get all these rewards here. And this is what you get after not logging in for a long time. Like, I, I'm not sure the exact time frame. My wife has logged in for a while, and uh, yeah. But um, if you get the Elite Pass, which I think is 20 bucks, yeah, it's uh, 20 bucks, you get a Nelva. Which I think is actually, like, when you look at everything in here, and then you look at Elva, honestly, like, that's pretty nice. Because think about it, even just one Sacred Shard, the last time I bought a Sacred Shard, I think I, what was it, like 25 bucks? Something like that? And then she get, she gets the boost here. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys.